this is Victor. Today I'm gonna show you two fun things you can do with ferro fluid that you should you should know how to make from the previous video. If you don't know, you can check it out. Okay, so the items you need for these ex these two experiments are magnets for earth and normal magnets or for earth or plain normal any amount or any type. Some screw screws and nuts. Alcohol, water. A jar and a jar lid, some gloves, some 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 foam and paper to make the area clean. Also, some tissue paper to make the area clean. Yep, and some toothpicks, a container, and a, a, a spoon if you want it, and of course a syringe. Yep. So the first experiment you want to do is the screw or yeah throw a on a screw so the first thing you need to do is you can get a flat surface like this this jar lid that should be magnetic or or you can make it with some foil I'm gonna show you quickly how to make it out of foil so you first rip a sheet of foil out and then you fold it around like this fold it around to make a, a small a nice and smooth containers thing and you can get your screw and and just make sure it's watertight and you get your magnet and oops all right watch out yeah see everything is magnetic too this magnet because it's super strong and you put this on top of the rare earth magnet and you can just put the screw on here and it's pretty much stuck there to do the experiment so, and move it a, a little bit around and yep this is pretty much clean enough but and it'll make the error the place a bit clean but if you want to make it a bit nicer then you can get a jar lid or something and you can put it on here you can put your new or your screw on here and it looks pretty much a bit nicer yep so then after you have to you can get your syringe or your spoon now I'm just using my spoon to pour yep, a bit of this ferro fluid on top of this so gently pour a few drops of it around here. Until you pour. Watch out, it may be magnetic, so of course. Be sure to as you can see it's pulling around if you have ferro fluid here and yeah, something magnet magnetic like this spoon might pull around. And as you can see, it will form spikes. Yep, and that's pretty cool. So at, later on, it'll just, it might go down. And you can also use your toothpick to just, to just pull it out and yep. yeah, make a bit more spikes or make it neater. Yep. And then that's your first experiment. Now the second experiment is making fur fluid inside a, a jar or bottle, whatever you call it. But this is a jar so that you need or yep just get water and pour about half of it half of the jar half of the, of the jar amount of water in here so it, but maybe a bit more than that because you don't want the alcohol to make it a bit too yeah, cloudy and not neat so it's about this amount is fine and then add some alcohol yeah rubbing alcohol is quite fine just don't put too much in so you can see it clear enough and once you screw the cap on tight you can get your syringe which from here you can scoop a generous amount of it and drop a bit of it down here as you can see oops you can drop a lot of it if you want to yep i think that that's enough as you can see there are many bubbles on the bottom you can now pull your magnet out. Ouch. And by the way, when you pull your magnet out, as you can see, it starts like the it starts to the water will just disappear, as you can see. And yeah, as you can see, beware that it may be messy, of course. And then you can get your magnet and then you put it in the bottom of this jar. And as you can, and you can put this all of these things together and then finally it'll form into one of these spiky yeah, things underwater. So it's like fur flu inside a bottle. As you can see, it spikes. Yep. 
Let me see. It spikes like this, and you can move it around. Of course, you move it into the bottom. You can do many cool things with it, as you can see. As it spikes up, and you can also close the bottle if you want it later. So, you, and you can play with it around. You can move it crazily around. You can, you can see about it, and you can spike it and move it. That's pretty much it. You might also be able to, yes, do other things with it and just let your imagination go with it. And that's pretty much it. And also, I just recent, recently saw found an information that NASA used to use this ferrofluid for their rocket engines or for their rocket fuel because of the, because of the, in space, no more ro rocket fuel or fuel needs to use gravity to go down, but ferrofluids fluids can use magnets. Yeah, and I'm not sure if that's true, but that's interesting. And that's all. Thanks for watching, and bye!